Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Zion's Flock. Uh, noise. Sound test. Can you hear me? Can you hear me there? All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Well, our topic tonight is very easy. All right. Uh, this is now a new schedule. Thank you, Sister Arlen. Thank you for all for inviting me. Thank you for scheduling me the first one again this quarter. All right. Now, the title is On to New Fields. This is written by Ellen G. White. All right. I hope it will give us some benefits and some ways that we can use for our care group here, especially Zion's flag. All right. So uh, let me share to you my screen while I uh, will be talking about this one. Okay. That is the case. Uh, before I proceed further, let me invite everyone to pray with me. Okay. Let us pray. Oh, dear God. Uh, this evening, I am now with Zion's flock. I pray that you'll be with us. You'll be with each one of us. You'll be the one to speak, put your words into my mouth, and all of us will be blessed and will be, un will be able to understand the things you want us to know and apply these things while waiting for your second coming, especially for this Zion's flock care group, oh Lord. Thank you for answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you see my screen, right? Okay. If you see my screen, just uh, type there or give any reaction. You can say yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. Right now, the title is On to New Field Evangelism. This is uh, page 381. Okay. Let me read to you and then let me emphasize something that is really important for us to, to know. Okay. So, new church members taught to stand alone. All right, if you're a new member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, it's good to know and good to learn that you need to stand alone. Mrs. White said, as I traveled through the South on my way to the conference, I saw city after city that was unworked. What is the matter? You know, the ministers are hovering over churches with no the truth while thousands are perishing out of Christ. In other words, we or our ministers, our leaders, our elders also, not just the mini the ministers, the leaders, uh, basically here the ministers, should go to places in which members, I mean people, are not members yet. Uh, they, they should know the truth. Thousands are perishing, right? So here, the object is to reach out the perishing. You know, those thousands of people in Thailand are millions of people. More than 70 millions of people are perishing. Perishing means they have not known the gospel yet. And it's very important to reach out to them while balancing our, our indoor with the outdoor activities, right? Okay. Don't, don't misinterpret Mrs. White. All right. Okay. Although she emphasizes indoor activities also, like out in reads, you know, there should be more emphasis on outreads. It is being, or by doing outreads that we will grow in our relationship in reads. Okay. This is very important, right? And so here, if the proper instruction were given, okay, if the proper methods were followed, every church member would do his work as a member of the body. He would do Christian missionary work, but the churches are dying and they want a minister to preach to them. You see that? Okay, so what makes the church dying? The inability to work, the, the I should say, the one, the, the, the habit of not working of not working for the perishing souls, that will make the church dying. And so because of this, you know, we just want our ministers to do, to preach instead of us, then the church would be dying. In other words, the secret to having a lively church, a, a working church, a living church, a, a, a lively, I should say, care group, you know, if you want to, to grow spiritually, if you want to live spiritually, if you want to be strong spiritually, we should be working individually also and as a group. It means we can work at bringing Christ into our respective places, into our classroom, into our, to our friends, right? Or any influence. You see that? That is the idea. We do not wait for a minister to tell us, although we need to coordinate, we plan. But there is a responsibility for each one. That is the idea of what Mrs. Wade is saying. They should be taught to bring a faithful tithe to God that he may strengthen and bless them. You see that? The, the blessing will come. You know, it's a promise uh, when we do our part in, in giving tithes and offerings. They should be brought into working order. You see working order? 
It means there is a planning, there's an order, there's coordination that the breath of God may come to them. Right? You see, the breath of God means the Holy Spirit of God. They should be taught that unless they can stand alone without a minister, they need to recon be reconverted anew and baptized anew. They need to be born again. In other words, if we are just waiting for the ministers to, you know, to to work for us, to lead out for us, you know, of course we, we need the, the leaders. It, it means we are not converted. Okay? We are not truly converted. And it says here, it, we need to be converted anew. We need to be baptized anew. Uh, we need to be born again. Remember, we talk a lot about uh, what are some of the bases that we need to be rebaptized. And I said, this should be another instance also that we should be rebaptized because we are not converted. Because the, the reason that a person should be baptized is because he is converted. How can he be converted? There is no action, you know, there's no working order. Faith is not shown into action. It is the faith that is required when a person becomes converted. It is the faith shown in action which shows that a person is really converted. Okay? See? Who will be with us, uh, you know, in, you know, if we do not do God's work? It means we need <laughs> to be baptized again because we are not converted, right? Masakit, no? Masakit kaibigan, masakit mga kapatid, no? But I'm not saying it. I'm just reemphasizing what Mrs. Ode is saying. If we really want to to really be born again, we need to do. We need to be reconverted and you baptize again and do the work. In other words, right after baptism, the next thing, the next thing to do is to really uh, work for the perishing souls. We cannot just SDA sitting down always. Go work for souls. Instead of keeping the ministers at work for the church that already know the truth, let the, the members of the church say to these laborers, go work for souls that are perishing in darkness. We ourselves will carry forward the services of the church. We will keep up the meetings and by abiding in Christ, we will maintain spiritual life. We will work for souls that are about us and we will send our prayers and gifts to sustain the laborers in more needy and destitute fields. Look at that. The emphasis of go working for souls. And how to do that? Abide in Christ. In maintain spiritual life. How to do that? In here it says, Send our prayers, aha, uh -huh. and gifts, okay? How can we work with God? We do not even pray early in the morning, right? We, we keep on saying a family that prays together, stays together. Mm -mm. A, a family that does not pray together doesn't stay together forever. That is very dangerous. I'm just reminding each one. We need to be working unitedly. We be praying unitedly early in the morning. Follow Christ's method. Follow Christ's example in Mark 1.35. Very early in the morning, long before daylight, he prayed, okay? He prayed and and that was, you might say that uh, he prayed alone uh -huh, in Mark 1.35. Yes, but in Acts 1.8, Acts uh, 1.14, Acts 2.1, it's, it's in one accord daily. They prayed daily when they were waiting for the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. The result was in verses 46 and 47 of chapter 2 of Acts. Conversion was daily. You see that? And what, what happened if we don't work together, we don't pray for each other? First Samuel 12, 23, that is sin. You know, if we stop praying for others, it's called sinning. You see? Because the definition of sinning is not just transgression of God's law. It is not just unrighteousness. Also, stopping to pray for one another when we already have the responsibility and accountability, that is also sinning. And sinning to God is very obnoxious if it is done repeatedly. All right? Let us repent, brothers and sisters. If we really want to work with God, if we really want to be reconverted, we need to work with it early in the morning. If we want to maintain a spiritual life, if we want to abide with Christ, abide with Christ first early in the morning. Send our prayers to God for each other, all right? And that is very, 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 very important, okay? And those who will go against that are going against the, the, the Holy Spirit, going against God because it is not my idea. It is God's idea. It is God's command. All right. Here, conference workers called to new fields. All right. As a general rule, the conference laborers should go out from the churches into a new field using the God-given ability to purse to a purpose in seeking and saving the lost. You see, when you ever, whenever you have a new worker, a new pastor coming to our churches, uh, here, the focus should be Besides in reach, there should be a balance between in reach and out reach. Then the focus should go out from the churches into new fields. But then we keep on emphasizing revival and reformation. How many times have we had revival and reformation this year? I think at least we had two already. 
But then do we have uh, the result of revival and reformation? The result of revival should be reformation. Then if the purpose is really for soul winning, then the research should be going out to new field. Where is new field? Have we explored all the fields here around Banbong or around Bisdak or around Chonburi? Those are new fields in which we haven't entered yet. Okay? So we let us follow the biblical principle. Centrifugal in Acts chapter 1. Okay? 1 8. That is first in the closest to the Father and then to the farthest from Jerusalem to Judea to the outermost part of the earth. That is the always the principle in there. Aggressive work called for. Look at that. What kind of work do we have? Is it aggressive or is it dying? You know? Our minister should plan wisely. Look at that. Plan wisely. Plan wisely. That is very, 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 very important. As faithful stewards. You see that? Planning wisely is a part of being faithful stewardship. Okay? If we really want to stay being faithful stewards, let us plan wisely. They should feel that it is not their duty to hover over the churches already raised up. Don't keep on hovering over the churches. Okay? Already raised up. But they should go be doing, I mean, they should be doing aggressive evangelistic work, preaching the word and doing house to house work. What is aggressive evangelistic work here being emphasized by Mrs. White? Preaching the word, doing house to house work. Okay, we might say, ah, uh, pastor, we don't know how to speak Thai. Well, 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 we don't know how to speak Thai, but we're able to, to teach students, you know, lesson. There's no excuse for that, you know. There's no excuse for that. We should be able to do house to house work. Even if we don't know how to speak the language. When I was a seminarian, these Koreans, they don't speak Filipino. English was limited. They wanted to go out with us. So we use translators. The same thing. If there is a will, there is a way. If there is faith, there is a way to go around and really visit house to house, work to places which have not yet heard the truth. They will find that nothing is so encouraging as doing evangelistic work in your field. Look at that. What makes it encouraging? That is, if we do evangelistic work, those who didn't go to Sula's last, uh, last Saturday, I tell you, the intensity of the spirituality of the revival being, you know, and in Reformation is not the same as those who went. It's very important, you know. Look at that. We need to be revived. If we want to be encouraged, let us keep doing. Let us, you know. There's a saying in, in, in Proverbs, I think, if, if my memory is right, I think Proverbs 37. Something like, uh, as you water, you will be watered. You know, when you plant, the, the, when you water the plants, you will be watered also. In other words, when you do evangelism, when you reach out to others, you will be encouraged in your faith also. Your faith will grow. If the ministers would get out of the way, if they would go forth into a new field, the members would be obliged to bear responsibilities and their capabilities would increase by use. Look at that capabilities would increase by use. Yung walang gamit, walang silbi, hanggang sa matuluyang walang silbi. Tama, mga kapatid? So, our uh, ministers will go forth and uh, you feel, do not wait. We members should wait. Uh, should not wait. We should go. Okay? We should be obliged to be responsible. Let's go out. And then, good thing is our capabilities would increase by use. Alright? It's just like a muscle. We keep on exercising. It will grow. It will become big if we keep on using it exercising it. That is the idea here. Ministerial forces exhausted established churches. Uh-huh. Look at that. Naging exhausted yung mga ministers natin. Saan? Hindi sa new fields. Doon sa mga established na mga churches already. Our people have had great light. All right? <laughs> and yet, mass of our ministerial force is where? Where, where, where? Is exhausted on the churches in teaching those who should be teachers. Okay? Right, look at that. Enlightening those who should be light of the word, watering those from whom should be flow springs of living water, enriching those who might be very, very troubled, minds of precious truth, repeating the gospel invitation to such as should be scattered to the after most part of the earth, communicating the message of heaven to many who have not had the privileges which they have enjoyed, feeding those who should be in the byways and highways, uh, highways heralding the invitation, come. For all things, for new, re for are now ready. Come to the gospel feast. Come to the supper of the Lamb. For all things, in other words, the, our ministers and in the wrong audience, in the wrong place. When our ministers hovering all the time, most of the time in the new or in the established churches already, teaching those who will be teachers. You know, 
and 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 spending more time with it means more in reach than out reach that is wrong it's not my word i'm just summarizing i'm just repeating the idea here emphasizing in other words if we do more in reach than out reach that is wrong okay that is exhausting the ministers and right look at what happened okay uh it's not correct it's not correct according to here now is the time for earnest wrestling with god what is that and how our voices should join with the saviors in that wonderful prayer what is a wonderful prayer <coughs> thy kingdom come what what kind of kingdom there are two kingdoms in the, the script that jesus was talking about kingdom of grace kingdom of glory thy kingdom come which kingdom is that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven let the whole earth be filled with his glory that is the kingdom of glory brothers and sisters many may ask who is sufficient for these things the responsibility rests upon every individual what is that not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves but our sufficiency is of god look at that all right and now we need to wrestle with god you know we keep praying oh lord uh, repeat this prayer your kingdom come your kingdom of glory and so for tonight, uh, for us, uh, Zion's flock uh, of members, uh, anybody who can watch this online, let me repeat and let me, uh, I should say, appeal to each one that we need to be working to a new field. There are still a lot of people perishing around Banbong, around our church here. Actually, it's not Bangpra. It should be named to Chunburi SDA Church, not, not Bangpra because the place is not Bangpra. So around Sensok, you know, around Chunburi. Our territory is in Sensok, in Chunburi. Okay? And then we can go to Bangpra later on because it's, it's, uh, uh, we do not belong to Bangpra. We belong to Sensok. We belong to Chunburi. And then later on in every place, every new place which has been visited here will not be new anymore because we already visited them house to house and all these things all right then we can go to farther places you might say uh how can we go house to house today people don't like that of course nobody likes that that is why you know god is saying jesus is saying pray for more laborers because the the field is great when the workers are few now we can we have lots of ways uh i those who are trained in university or in college in college of theology of course before we go out we need to to organize as a church uh talk about this with the church board and then after that then plan how to go about visiting the community uh what we did before we were taught by our teachers at the mvc make a letter you know send it to the community leaders you know or the mayor if you want and then we visit your churches uh we visit i should say not just the church we visit your community people and then we will have this program what we did before we can use like health approach okay health expo and then and then find something you know there are lots of departments in the church for us to reach out to the people and then collect their names and then we have facebook social media today line there are lots of ways in other words it's even more uh, it should be a lot easier now and more advantages than many years ago many centuries ago there was no social media now technology if we use them if we use it coupled with it you know we have the holy spirit who will enable us with the technology with the human resources with all the techniques and all the resources today it should be easier for us to reach out to people if and only if we plan together we work together we work with the holy spirit together we work with a prayer or morning together that is why a church a care group a family that prays together stays together may god bless us tonight all right any questions you can you can ask questions right here. <laughs> if you see this video on, on, on YouTube, then ask questions. If you are in the care group like this, ask questions or have some reflection led by your coordinator or facilitator. God bless you. God bless you. Rolly here.